fall. Do not fall. Holy freaking crap. You could tell I literally just took the damn thumbnail here. No advance warning, no notification sent out. Did I remember to clear? Yes, I did. Did I remember to get on the 5G network? I think I did. I think I did. So, what's up, guys? Happy Mother Frickin' Friday. It's Friday, August 7th. The new mic right here. If you weren't on the last uh, live stream, I have a new mic set up. And uh, I am, uh, I just got done working out. Just got done working out. And I had some extra time. Uh, Mrs. Cincy is picking up Din Din as usual. She's actually with Tay Tay. Tay Tay's finishing up some gymnastics for the day. So uh, we're getting some Chiloso. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's like a Mexican type restaurant. I'm really, really excited for it. Uh, a little bit of a cheat meal tonight. I did I did my miles, did my miles on the treadmill, got my workout in, still got to do my, uh, my core work, my ab work, but uh, having some, uh, what are they called? Flautas? I think they're called flautas. They're like taquitos, or are they just called taquitos? I think they might just be called taquitos, but we're having, I'm having some of those. I think she's having like a fried avocado or something like that, uh, grilled avocado and uh, queso. Mmm, some freaking queso. Heck yes. Heck yes. That's the way to celebrate on a Friday afternoon after you've done your workout with some action figures, that big ass stack of action figures. I'm, I'm going to show you that. Just now got the notification that I am live, so a little bit of a delay there. But I'm going to do the roll call. I hope you all had a great week this week. I hope you all had a productive week, a happy week, a joyful week. Hopefully you found some stuff. Maybe you didn't find all the stuff you were looking for, but hopefully you found something to bring some joy into your collecting life. I found some stuff. This is actually accumulated stuff over the last, I would say maybe a week and a half. A lot of Transformers here. So hopefully you like some Transformers action because I'm going to show you a lot of those. And I got uh, a Mezco here, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know which one that is. And I got some comic books. I got a really, really friggin' crazy, huge spec book, comic book that came out this week that's already sold out everywhere. But I got it. I got a new comic box, which I'm equally as happy about getting this comic box as the actual comic itself. But let me do the roll call. If you've not joined one of these live streams before, I always start with the roll call. And I go down the list and I name off a bunch of people that are at the top of the list that joined the live stream early, because that to me tells that uh, you have notifications turned on. And if you have notifications turned on, I appreciate that. Hopefully my lighting looks okay. Hopefully it's not too dark. It's kind of a, uh, a darkish room. I just have my Detolf lights on. I got my office lamp off, but I got my st studio lights are on looking nice. And I got my mic. So let's do the roll call. Stuart Fulbrook, my man, was the first person to say something in the chat. I do have my Diet Pepsi, so cheers to you, Stuart. I'm not sure what time it is over there in the UK, but hopefully you had an awesome week. Uh, Aunt Anderson, hell yeah, the man is live. I am, I am live. I'm wearing my extremely limited Street Fighter AEW Young Bucks t-shirt. I decided, you know what? I know this thing's already like being scalped on eBay. Maybe not scalped. Maybe it's just, it was so damn rare. There's only 250 of this shirt that were done. So I was thinking about not wearing it and just like keeping it as a collector's item. But I was like, F it. I'm going to wear it. It's a cool looking shirt. I like it. I just, uh, I played some Street Fighter right after I got off the treadmill. So uh, I was feeling a little Feel a little nostalgic towards some Street Fighter. One of my favorite characters right there, Akuma. My favorite characters to play with on Street Fighter, though, Blanca and E Honda. I don't know. Those are the two that I like the most. Uh, who else do I use? Occasionally, Sagat. Kind of hard to do the uh, his special moves. I'm just not good at video games in general. I'm okay at NHL. But in general, like any kind of skill-related video games, especially Street Fighter, where you got to do little moves, I'm just not good at that. 
I am good, however, at button mashing, which is why I like E Honda because he can do that. And then I also like Blanca because he does a like electricity and stuff. So, and then I also like the thing where he like shoots across the screen a little ball, and E Honda does the uh, like the head first missile across the screen. Anyway, guys, sorry to get sidetracked there. William Montez is here. Jacob Olson is here. Jeff Simpson, Mister Allmine, Rogue Toy Art, Benjamin Atienza, Roman Schilling, Jacob Olson, Kiwi Collecta, Chicken Pot Pie, Dank Chez, Yo Jo, Willie Wilson. What's up to you, uh, Mel Malika? I cannot pronounce this name. Let me know how to pronounce this name. I hate mispronouncing names. I think it's Ma Malika Mabane. Hopefully that's right. Peace to you, Malika. And hopefully I pronounced that right. Toy Avenue, Victor Calzada, Yosinci Mexican here. Uh, I'm getting uh, some Mexican food for dinner. I'm really, really excited for it. I was actually hoping for some Fuzzy's Tacos or Torchy's Tacos. If you're in the Texas area, you know about them. But uh, I'm good with Chiloso. Mr. All Mine is here. So P-Dog lets you have a cheat meal. Nice of her. Yes. Uh, I actually just uh, stole some of her. Cool Ranch Doritos. She asked for some Cool Ranch Doritos. I think she's approaching right now. And I ate some of those, so those were delicious. What up, Nerd Cruz? Is Ricardo Hernandez. Lee Ruiz. Still haven't found the rest of the AEW figures. Lee, I'm glad that you found the ones that you did. I'm very glad that you found some of them. Toy Avenue. Apparently, some people think that I'm, I'm like a fraud of some kind and that uh, I didn't find those at a Walmart. I'm getting like negative comments on the actual video where I'm unboxing them and reviewing them saying people saying you're a liar. You didn't find these at Walmart. Well, Lee Ruiz can contest because he actually found some figures at Walmart as well. So I guess we're all liars. Toy Avenue. Favorite Mexican dish. Mine is chili relleno. Uh, I like tamales. I like tamales. I like um, oh. Uh, Enchilada, everything. Enchiladas, tacos. Uh, I really like uh, street tacos. Those are good as well. Just pretty much anything. Pretty much anything Mexican related. I absolutely love it. Probably my favorite kind of food. Um, also like Thai food, but I, if I had to pick like a final meal, final, final meal, it'd be Mexican food. Um, my peers scored some new. What did? Hey, what's up? Mommy, you give me a water from Chiloso? A water? Yeah. We have cold waters in our fridge downstairs, sweetie pie. I know. Can you... Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Can you please? Yeah, I'll tell her to bring you a water. I'll, I'll tell her to, to pay the $3 for a water when we have, like, at least, like, 72 waters downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Woodson, we'd love to see your Mezco collection. Ryan A., hey, what's up, Cincy? Ferbs, Mr. Allmine, Mike Pierce. Okay, so when I start like uh, repeating some of the names and stuff, then I move on to the actual content and we're done with roll call. But thank you to everyone that is here right now. I appreciate it. Kevin Vallejo. Did you just started it? I just started it, yes. Eight minutes in, as you can see the little clock there. But I got to start doing these. Uh, I got to start showing the whole okay. girlfriend. Well, my mommy's here. Are you going to like, what, what happens if mommy's here and you're still doing the live stream? Oh, I'll be done by the time mommy gets here with dinner. And we'll eat dinner together. It? it is 10 till 7. I appreciate all your questions, though, sweetie pie. Bye. 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 I love you. Oh, I just said it looks good for the lighting. No, it doesn't. Thanks for making me feel self-conscious. Anyway, guys. Lots of questions. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I jumped to the bottom. So here's what I'm going to do. Are the AEWs in Walmart? Yes, they are. Steven Rodriguez, they are indeed in Walmarts. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time for them to reach all Walmarts. They're, they're hitting slowly. They hit first in Texas, which is the reason that I found them. Lee found some. Uh, I think Ryan Wilhelm found some from Jaden's Toys. Shout out to Jaden's Toys. Shout out to Ryan. He found, I think he found a Kenny. But uh, they are in stores. They're showing up in stores. We're not all liars down here in Texas. Just keep hitting your stores. Keep hitting Pop Finder. That's my suggestion. I shared the UPC at least seven times in that uh, the live stream because I want people, I want you guys to get them. I want you guys to get these things. I like them. I want them to produce more. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through the comic haul really quick because it's only two, four, five comic books. 
I'm going to end with the super ridiculous spec book that people are absolutely going bonkers for. But I'm going to start with this one right here. Giant Size X-Men number one, Phantom X. And I got this for a few reasons. A, I like Phantom X. I think he's a cool character. I love his character design. He is awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to that three pack, even though I'm kind of not going to be collecting Marvel Legends a whole lot. But I'm looking forward to the three pack with Nimrod and Psylocke because I like all three of those. But also, also, the writer of this comic book is the man himself, Jonathan Hickman, who is like the architect of X-Men comic books right now, and uh, Ivan Rice, uh, R-E-I-S. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is the artist, and he's a damn cool artist. I like his stuff. Um, the next book here is Deceased Dead Planet. I recommended this recently on a video um, because... Everything that Tom Taylor, the writer, Tom Taylor's the writer of the deceased comic book. I guess it's a trilogy by now. Everything he's done is exceptionally good. So I would highly, highly recommend deceased. It has a zombie ish vibe to it. Basically the premise is that dark side figured out the anti-life equation. He disseminated this equation to earth and people uh, basically, they didn't turn into zombies per se, but they turned into like bloodthirsty killers. And what happens when a super powered uh, superhuman turns into a mindless bloodthirsty killer? Chaos ensues. So check out Deceased. Uh, Dead Planet is uh, the new, I guess, arc. It went Deceased and the Deceased Unkillables, which was really good. And then Deceased Dead Planet, which is also very good. So... Um, the next two, uh, I went on the recommendation of a uh, shout out to Michael at Keith's Comics. That's where my, I buy all my local comic books, Michael at Keith's Comics. He recommended this. This is Robert Kirkman's new book called Firepower. I'm not going to read this because there was actually a prelude trade paperback, which kind of sets up the whole uh, comic book, the whole storyline. And I have that in my box. I didn't pick that one up because I was already at a certain level of money that I was going to be paying for my comics. So I don't like to like really exceed that level. So I, I kept that in there for next week. Anyway, this is issue one of firepower. The thing about Robert Kirkman, he's the creator of walking dead and pretty much any comic he touches turns into some kind of television or movie project. So invincible that's been rumored to be coming to I think a TV series, obviously Walking Dead, uh, longtime TV series, Oblivion Song, also going to be, I believe, a TV series. And I would put money down on the fact that this comic right here, Firepower, is going to be a TV series. This is issue one. And uh, I was it this one or Oblivion Song? I think it was Oblivion Song that he said there was not going to be any second printings. Anyway, my recommendation, I haven't read these. I went on the um, the uh, recommendation of Michael at Keith's Comics. I got issue two as well. Go pick it up. It's an issue one. See if you like it. If you don't like it, no harm, no foul. Here is the ridiculous spec book of the week. It's this uh, Death Metal Dark Knights, Legends of the Dark Knight. I uh, am subscribed to Death Metal and any one shots that come out as a result of death metal. I don't want to miss anything. So that's why I got this one. I know a lot of people tried to get this. It um, was difficult to obtain and some people didn't get it. So anyway, there it is one more time. I got my hands on one. I'm going to read it. The Robin King cover looks awesome. This is the debut of a new character called the Robin King. So that's why this one is so hot with speculators right now. All right. I mentioned that I got a comic box and I really, really like these comic boxes. I started buying these. I have three of them now. And these are the boxes that I use for like my uh, read pile. My read pile is currently three short boxes. So I have a lot of new comics that I still have to read. But look at this box. So it's got classic John Buscema Wolverine from Wolverine issue one on this side of the box. And it says Wolverine there. And then on this side of the box, it's got the new Wolverine. I think this is the cover for issue one or two. 
I don't recall which one, but it says Wolverine on top. It's a short box with some badass freaking art on it. I have an Empire one. I have a Ghost Rider one, but I love these short boxes. So um, in case you hadn't seen these and you were wanting some short boxes for your comic books, I wanted you to know that those did indeed exist. So let me get to some comments and then I'm going to start on these Transformers because I literally have a pile of these things if you saw the thumbnail. Uh, let's see here. What am I missing? What did I miss? I missed a lot of comments. I have Bumblebee with Prime on the way. In my opinion, great for the price compared to Hot Toys considering uh, there's metal. <clears throat> so WI Watch Guy is probably talking about the... Uh, who's the manufacturer of that? Um, I'm brain farting right now. It's a DLX scale and I don't remember. 3.0 or 3A. I think that's what you're talking about. And you are correct. Those things look awesome. I'm actually heavily, heavily contemplating buying the DLX scale Megatron and Optimus Prime from the Siege uh, War for Cybertron that they're doing. They're pricey. They are pricey, but they look amazing. And uh, I'm considering getting those um, to put in like the, uh, the higher end Detolf shelves. Uh, let's see here. I went to Walmart to get SS Scrapper and left with Mixmaster. So Classic Rock Collector got Mixmaster. Shannon Runk says, how's the collectible stuff going? It's going great. I'm uh, about to share some collectibles that I picked up. Uh, let's see here. Um, my Walmart and Target sucks, Grumpy79 says. Mine usually suck, but sometimes I do strike gold and find what I'm looking for. Jedi Howard 22, what up, Cincy? Steven Rodriguez, are the AEW figures in Walmarts now? I think I read that one already. Yes, they are, Steven. They are indeed. You finally decided to put on the shirt. Does that mean you found a way to clean it without it fading? Um, I'm going to turn it inside out. I actually went to the page that they went that they sold this at. I'm going to turn it inside out, wash it in cold water, and not dry it uh, so it doesn't fade. And that was Ray Finity with that question. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm in LA and they might come by early next week in stores. So Steven Rodriguez is probably referring to the AEW figure. So I hope you do find them in LA. I hope you do find those figures because I like them a lot. Are they out of, no, they're right there. I moved them. So they're up there right now. You can see the bucks, the bucks of youth and Kenny and uh, Jericho. You can't see him cause it's dark up there, but he's up there. Oh no, that, that's uh Cody right there. Kenny is right there. Uh, how's it going, Patrice Everard? How are you doing today? Mega X Studio says, I'm doing great. I'm going to show you these uh, Transformers. I'm going to start with this one up top. So um, if you watched my recent video, I was looking for the Siege Optimus Prime because I watched the Siege cartoon. Blown away by it. I loved it. I've seen it twice now. I'll probably watch it a third time. I really liked it. Some people said they thought it was a little boring, a lot of talking. I loved, loved the writing. I loved the characterization. I loved how some of the characters had arcs. It, it is probably the best character building I've ever seen in a Transformers anything. Uh, it was awesome. I loved it. So I was uh, trying to find the Siege Optimus Prime. The regular Siege Optimus Prime is very hard to find now. But I was able to get my hands on the cell shaded version, which I do like a lot. And he's currently sitting in the shelf right now. You can kind of barely see him right there. But I was uh, searching the internet and I was like, you know what? I, I really do want the regular Siege Optimus Prime. I have the Earthrise. I have the cell shaded one. But I want the regular Siege one. And I happened to stumble upon one uh, at a store that I think I went to. I think I've been there. I think I went there a couple years ago with NARC. The store is in New York City, and it's called Forbidden Planet. And I'm pretty sure we went there when we went to Toy Fair. But I found this on their site, and hell freaking yes. So shout out to my friends in New York City, Forbidden Planet, for selling me this, Siege, Optimus Prime. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was 35 So just slightly over retail. I think retail's 30 but again, he's really hard to find now. And I'm very happy that I got him. I think he looks badass. I'm not sure if they still have him. Um, if you're looking for this one, you might want to open another tab or open another window and go to Forbidden Planet. I don't know what they're, I think it's ForbiddenPlanet.com. 
I know there's a forbidden forbidden planet in the UK, so I don't know if that is their actual URL. So look for the one in New York City. That's where I bought this. Hopefully they still have it. Hopefully you can get it if you're looking for it. But hell, yes, there he is. Optimus Prime. There's the side art right there. There's the back of the box. Cybertronian mode. Right there and right there. So hell, yes. Really, really happy to get that. And they actually... I'm not using my hands. To, I had a scratch, little itchy itch on my nose. They sent me this. It says... Uh, I've never bought anything uh, through their online store, but it's a thank you for shopping with Forbidden Planet New York City. And uh, they gave me this little, I think this is a sticker, but they threw in this little sticker, Forbidden Planet, and they threw in a little postcard. So that's badass. The science fiction megastore, Forbidden Planet, their little uh, illustration there, and then it's a postcard. So maybe I'll send this to someone. Send them a postcard. But I got that from Forbidden Planet. I'm going to try and remember where I got all these things. This one right here, I went on a little toy hunt uh, with Tay Tay. And um, she found a whole bunch of stuff on that toy hunt. She ended up getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, two of the things you'll actually see in just a second. But um, I was looking for two things. I was looking for uh, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise, Skylinks, and I was also looking for a for Cybertron Earthrise Scorponok. I did not find the Scorponok, but after going to two targets, I found this big badass right here, Skylinks. I've watched some reviews. I watched T Man's review. Shout out to my buddy T Man 978. Check out his review. This thing is huge. This thing is huge. Uh, when he was standing up on his four legs in the combined Let's see if you can see it. In this mode right here, where he's both animals kind of combined together, he was as tall as Jetfire. So he is a big boy. And I'm really excited to get him on the Earthrise shelf with the rest of the Autobots. But he combines into this form right here, this old form. He can be this like play set right here, this like space shuttle station. And then he can come, he can uh, have the two bots right there and then he can have the combined form right there so hell yes i'm so excited to get this there's the side art earthrise war for cybertron earthrise skylinks it's got some weight to it it's kind of heavy so um i'm so excited to open this one up so i got that one the rest are going to be some some figures that I had originally passed on. I originally passed on these when the line was out. This line's been out. The Siege War for Cybertron line has been out for like a year. And I had passed on some of these because I was like, I don't, I don't really know that character. But then I saw the Netflix series and I saw these guys mentioned specifically by name and they had either action scenes or maybe some limited uh, speaking scenes, some lines and stuff. And I was like, heck yeah, I freaking get them. I mean, they, they actually made characters out of them instead of like the Michael Bay movies. Nothing against the Michael Bay movies. I still enjoy them for what they are. But in the Michael Bay movies, the Transformers themselves are basically like background characters. They're just like eye candy. But like in this Netflix series, they gave like personalities to even C-list characters like, like this guy right here, Spinster. And can I just say Spinister would be a cooler name, but he's called Spinster. Oh, he is Spinister. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've been calling him Spinster, and his name is Spinister. And I always thought that Spinister, like Sinister, would be a cooler name, but that's his actual name. So I'm a moron. It's Friday, guys. It's been a long week. Give me a break. <laughs> but there is a Spinister right there, and he was in the, uh, the show. Uh, him and Skytread an impactor had a, a cool like action scene with Optimus Prime and some other Autobots, but there he is right there. So this one mission accomplished Hasbro. You, you created a cartoon to sell toys and an adult watched that cartoon, which I I'm sure is the actual audience you were going for adult adults here, you guys. And, uh, 
and I bought some toys as a result of watching this damn show. So bravo, bravo Hasbro. You did it. You got me. Hook, line, and sinker. Spinister was purchased. This one right here, I didn't think. I did not think we were going to see any of these weaponizer guys have any kind of relevance in the show. But this guy had a lot of lines. Cog? I was like, freaking Cog. He's like a, he's almost like a higher up in the Autobot. Like, he was talking a lot. He was like a leader, like a secondary or tertiary leader. But there's Cog, freaking weaponizer. And he even had the, the toy transformation where he turns into a bunch of weapons and he like jumped on, I think it was RC or Chromia's back. And he turned into a bunch of guns. I, I think it was RC because I think that was, it was Cog, RC, and Bumblebee when they went to Sound Blaster. If you haven't seen this series, you need to watch the series. The whole Sound Blaster part is freaking awesome. I loved Sound Blaster in this series. But um, yeah, Cog, he's a badass. I skipped him. I skipped him because I was like, I don't really need those weaponizer guys. I just want to get like the guys that I know from the G1 cartoon series. I don't need these guys. And then I was like, I watched the show and I'm like, all right, I need to get a freaking Cog. So I got him. So I got that one. Here's another one. Here's another one, guys. Another hook, line, and sinker. After watching the damn show, I wasn't going to get this guy, but I got him anyway. Barricade, Decepticon. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen the show by now, so I'm going to give like some minor, minor, minor spoilers. But I love the scene where Ultra Magnus was approaching, and he freaking shot at him, and Ultra Magnus didn't even flinch. It just kind of like grazed him and, and shot like the cloak thing. And then Megatron got pissed off at Barricade, <laughs> at barricade for, for uh, shooting first and asking questions later. Pretty awesome. So there's Barricade. There's his art. There is what he looks like. Alt mode. I don't know if I showed you. There's uh, Spinister's side art right there. And then here is, ah, man down. There's a uh, Cog's side art. All right. I got a lot of freaking Transformers here. Good Lord. They're all over the place now. This one right here. Obviously, we knew Prowl was going to be in it. I don't know why I didn't have Prowl, but I picked up Prowl. I also got the uh, Earthrise Prowl that comes in the two-pack with Ironhide. I think that one's shipping in like October or November. But I got Prowl right here. Side art. I wish he was uh, dirtied up because in the um, Netflix show, he's he's very dirty and like scratched up and dingy and stuff because obviously he's fighting in a war. So he doesn't look all clean and, and white like that, but pretty badass prowl there. Two more Transformers, guys. Two more. This is the last uh, Siege figure and then I have one Studio Series figure. But uh, Starscream. So uh, I ended up getting the Earthrise Starscream, and I was like, I don't really need the Tetrajet version. I just need one version of Starscream. Incorrect. Because I loved Starscream in the Netflix show. Just awesome. It was awesome to see his character grow from minion to having career aspirations. I'll leave it at that. But I loved watching him turn into Starscream. Um, he went from just a regular old seeker to being Starscream. If you know what I mean, if you watched it, you know what I mean. But uh, there's the Tetrajet version of Starscream, Siege version. I loved the way the Tetrajets were animated in this show. They were badass in the show. The last Transformers, and then we'll get to the comments because I've missed so many friggin' comments uh, doing this haul. But um, the last one I'm going to show you is one that I ordered from China and uh, it's um, part of the Devastator, um, I guess, group uh, from Revenge of the Fallen. I ordered it from China. I was I was worried that it was not going to arrive because it took, I would say, a month to get here. And then by the time it got to my local post office, they held on to it for like three days. So I was like, are they are, is something going on? Are they going to send it back? Did I get a bogus package? But it is legit. And there he is right there, long haul. 
Um, so yeah, ordered it, came all the way from China. Um, but really, really damn excited to get long haul. I can't, this will be the first one once I'm done filming this, this will be the first one that I unbox and get in the, uh, the details. Cause I'm really, really excited for this. This is probably just by the looks of it. This is probably my favorite of the Constructicons from the movie. So there he is right there. Just big and badass, menacing looking. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And uh, if I end up not combining them all to create Devastator and I keep them in their individual robot forms, it'll be because of Long Haul. Because I just like the way he looks as an individual robot. So there you go, guys. Those are the Transformers. Um, I have a couple of Funko Pops. Yes, Funko Pops. I didn't buy them for me. I bought them for Tay, -Tay and P-Dog because I started a new collection for them. Uh, it was kind of a, a joint effort of them saying that they really, really loved this character and me also loving this character and me wanting to get them into Star Wars collecting. Uh, so we ended up finding a couple Funko Pops. And I said Star Wars and my girls love them. So you can probably guess who the character is. The character is known as the child. They like to call him Baby Yoda, but I found this one right here. This is the Walmart exclusive Funko Pop Baby Yoda where he is force wielding. Uh, that is that pose is when he's trying to uh, heal uh, Din Djarin uh, after the encounter with who the frick did he get beat up from? I don't remember. Um, Bounty Hunters or something. But when he's sticking out his little arm and he's trying to heal him and then, uh, yeah. And then Din Jaren puts him back in his little baby pram, his floating hover pram. But I got the Walmart version for them. Uh, this is their second The Child Pop. They also have the one with his frog in his mouth. And um, that leaves just one more uh, Baby Yoda or The Child Pop that they needed. And that was the one where he's holding the soup bowl. So, of course, I got that one too. So now they have all three of the regular size Funko Pops for the child. This one, he's holding a soup bowl. Uh, I am going to try to find them the big 10 inch, uh, the child pop. I think it's like a $30 one, but uh, I'm going to try and get that one for them too. Pretty much any, the child or baby Yoda merchandise that's made, they want. So they're going to have, I, I cleared off a little area for them on one of their nightstands. And that is going to be, their Star Wars collection comprised entirely of the child. So it makes me very, very happy that they're into Star Wars, at least something Star Wars. Um, and who doesn't love, I mean, I know there's a couple of people that don't love this character, but I absolutely freaking adore the child. I think he's awesome. So there you go, guys. Those are my two Funko Pops that I picked up. And then uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I did finally receive this Mezco figure. It's quite a controversial figure. Uh, it's very polarizing. People either like it or despise it. Um, based on the pictures that I've seen, based on the reviews that I've seen, I'm open-minded to it. It doesn't look as bad as people are saying it does, but um, once I get it in hand, I'll make that final judgment, but it's John Wick. It's the John Wick Mezco exclusive in the tin. And it's upside down, but here it is right here. Super glare because of the plastic on there, but he comes with the dog, the doggo uh, from John Wick 2, the all black suit. I think it's a blue shirt though. Lots of accessories, lots of guns, the gun chest. So people are um, kind of upset at the face sculpts. I have the hot toys version. So I wasn't trying to get uh, an exact replica of Keanu Reeves' face on this figure here because I have it already down there. Uh, and that's the best version of John Wick that you're going to find, I personally believe. Um, but I've compared, and th it's, all, uh, it's all subjective, honestly. 
Um, it's, it's all in the eye of the beholder. I've compared this based on what I saw in pictures. And again, I haven't opened it yet, but I've compared the pictures of these face sculpts compared to the Mafex and compared to the Diamond Select. I think this looks more like Keanu Reeves than those two. Uh, the Mafex, I don't think looks like him very much. And the Diamond Select doesn't look like him. I think this is closer to him than those. But again, it's all based on your what you see with your eyes. We all see different things with our eyes. What I see cannot be duplicated by anyone else because it's how I see the world. So some people are going to see it. Some people are not going to see it. Some people are going to hate it. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to like it. It doesn't matter. Collect what you want to collect. Like what you like. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's fine. So I don't know yet. Once I get it in hand, I'll make that decision. If I don't like it and I want to sell it, it's honestly not that big of a deal because I have the freaking Hot Toys version. And I'm probably always going to keep that one because I love John Wick. I love the movies. And that figure is badass. Even though he's his uh, arm movement is kind of restricted because of the suit. Again, you're dealing with a dude in a form-fitting suit. <clears throat> so people are like saying, well, it has single jointed elbows. You can't move the arms. You can't do extremely dynamic stuff. You can't do extremely dynamic stuff with this one either. If you want extremely dy dynamic poses, I would say get the Mafex. Again, I don't think the face sculpt's there entirely on the Mafex, but if you want to, if you want them to do uh, gun foo, then get the Mafex version. So it, it's, it all depends on what you want. Now I've probably missed like a hundred comments. So I'm going to get to the chat and I think that was everything. Um, I was probably going to open a couple of these transformers, but I, I want to get to the comments here uh, and, uh, and answer any questions you guys have and talk about figures, talk about toys, talk about collectibles, whatever you guys want to talk about. The first comment I saw was at the very bottom and Toy Avenue says, who do you like more, Ovechkin or Sidney Crosby? That's a hockey question. And I'm going to say uh, Ovi because I grew up as a Caps fan. I grew up in Washington, D.C. I lived there for the first 21 years of my life. So I was a hardcore, hardcore Washington Capitals fan. So I'm a big Ovi fan, but I respect the crap out of Sidney Crosby. As much as I, I'm supposed to not like the Pens, because I'm a Blue Jackets fan and a Caps fan, I respect the crap out of Crosby, and I think he's one of the greatest players of our generation, of all time. Ray Finity says, get the actual Keanu Reeves. Exactly, yeah. Just rent out Keanu Reeves, have him stand uh, near your Detolfs, and he can be uh, your personal action figure, and then you can't complain about the face sculpt. <laughs> it's like Wolverine Hot Toys, uh, Montgomery Designs says. Oh, yeah, the Wolverine Hot Toys was limited in uh, his movement as well. Sewer Fulbrook says, are you going to get the Jane Silent Bob statue, sideshow statue you shared earlier? I shared that statue on the Nerd Bar, facebook.com slash groups slash the Nerd Bar. It's a Jane Silent Bob statue. I think it was limited to 3500 or was it 350 bucks? It is very limited. I don't remember the actual run, but I think it was 350 bucks. I'm a huge, huge Jane Silent Bob fan. I would love to get that statue. It's a little pricey though, 350. And I have, I'm paying off literally, guys. I'm paying off four freaking hot toys right now. If if you don't know, if you haven't heard me say this on previous streams, I do payment plans on my hot toys. That's how I can afford these things. And uh, I do like literally every freaking five days, I have an, a payment plan hitting. So it's a it's a giant burden on the wallet. That's why you'll see me occasionally selling things. Uh, to be able to afford these things that I have pre-ordered. So I'm not sure. I, I would love to get that statue, but I don't know if I have it in my uh, my budget. What is the thing you've collected the longest? Man, that's a good question. Classic rock collector. Oh, man. Um, the thing I've collected the longest, probably comic books. I started collecting sports cards pretty heavy in 1990. So that's 30 years. And I started reading comic books in like 86 or 85. Um, but I've been collecting toys since 1980. So, I, I mean, if you generalize toys, then toys is the longest. I've been collecting Star Wars the longest because that's what I started with. So I started with Star Wars, 82 rolled around. I got heavy into G.I. Joe, 84 rolled in and I got heavy into Transformers. Uh, it was just like an ongoing thing, then He-Man, so on and so forth. So 
It, it was like a new toy line would come out. So, guys, we, we had like really crappy video games in the 80s. I'm not sure if you remember this <laughs> or if you were even alive for this. Um, we had really crap. We had Atari and it was just like Pong, two lines moving, bouncing a ball back and forth. So our video games were not nearly even remotely as close as they are, as, as they are today. So our entertainment was cartoons and toys. That's what we had to get by. All you guys that are in your late 30s, early 40s that are around, that were around in the 80s, you know, you know what's up. Um, and the other thing is, is I've, I've noticed that like people are like, I've noticed that people are like making a huge, huge deal about like scalpers and flippers now um, saying how like they're ruining the hobby. I... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we had scalpers and flippers in the early, early 80s. As a matter of fact, one Christmas in like 1984, moms, moms were flipping and scalping Cabbage Patch dolls and Transformers. I asked my mom to get Transformers for me that Christmas of 84. She was like, there's no way. There's no way I can get those. As soon as as soon as Toys R Us opens in the morning in like 84, 85, people were rushing in to get Yes, sweetie. Mm. Those things and mm. they over there by like um like right here over here. Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> it looks like your eyebrow is really big and really dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback, sweetie pie. Yeah. This is my executive producer of my show, P Dog, <laughs> and she likes to inform me when I have like facial blemishes or like maybe a pimple on my face or if I have like a booger in my nose or like a gray nose hair or if I have like darkness on this side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie pie. It's it's because of the way the light's positioned. It's only shining on that side. And then I have the mic here, so it's casting a shadow on my face. So what can you do? <laughs> what can you do, executive producer P Dog? <laughs> Oh, uh, she's awesome. Um, all right. So where was I? Yeah. So moms were scalping them. Moms were like basically buying Transformers Cabbage Patch doll dolls in like the 80s, early 80s, and then tripling, quadrupling their money, selling them. And people were paying the money. So flippers and scalpers, guys, that's been on. That's been a thing with toys as long as I can remember. So it's not a new thing. It's not going to ruin the hobby. We will get past it. It's anytime there's something hot, something in demand, and the supply is low, there's going to be people that are buying them to make a profit. So we just have to deal with it the best we can, not hate everything, not think that the sky is falling, and just deal with it the best we can, not let it bother us, not let it trigger us, and just make the best of it, I guess. If, if there's something you're collecting and you can't find, I don't know, take a step back from collecting. Don't let it stress you out. Collect something else. That's what I do. If I can't find something, I'll go on to something else. So I don't know. I don't want to preach. I'm going to get off my soapbox here. I don't even know how I ended up on that, but I'm going to continue on with the comments, guys. I appreciate you all being here, by the way. Uh, what is I read that one. I have the Mafex great figure. Face is pretty good. So Steven Turner has the Mafex wick i think i think that's what we're referring to and he likes it so i'm glad you like it and obviously with a mafex it's going to have um ridiculous articulation just amazing articulation i gotta say guys i'm i'm um wanting to buy a couple mafex figures myself i really want to get i have the spider-man the cell-shaded spider-man um it's one of my favorite figures in my collection i gotta say um i really want the venom I want the Venom Mafex figure. I want the Cyclops Mafex figure. And I want the brown suit Wolverine that just got teased. And I want the Gambit. So I'm thinking, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm thinking about selling probably like 95% of my Marvel Legends. And the reason is, is because they just keep pumping them out. They, they, they're kind of a drain on the wallet because it, it, it like encourages the completest in me. Um, with Marvel Legends, I don't know why it's with Marvel. It's it's with a lot of lines, but with Marvel Legends, there's just so many of them, and they look so good. Me not collecting them doesn't mean that I don't like them. It doesn't mean that I don't think that they're quality. I think they're amazing. I think that they're the best that they have been 
since the line started. So it's a great, great product. It's a great line, but there's so many of them. There's so many to collect. It's, it's kind of one of the reasons why I backed away from pops. There's so many of them, so many to collect. And it's a huge drain on the wallet. And if I have to afford these guys, which I freaking love buying, I got to, I got to back off something. And I think that's what it's going to be. So um, the reason why I want to get the Mafex Cyclops, Mafex Wolverine, and Mafex Gambit is to kind of uh, dwindle down my X-Men collection to just like a select few. And I love those three characters, and I think those figures look great. And I would love to kind of like start my new X-Men collection with just Mafex and see where they go with the line. Anyway, that was a diatribe in its own. Um... King Dingling Mafex are kind of a pain and an expensive figure to experience paint rub at the joints. I, I have heard that. I have not experienced any paint rub at the joints myself, but I have heard that people do experience that. Amateur Toy Hunter says, Crosby grew up a Habs fan, should have demanded to be traded to Montreal. Comments just jumped. I'm going to try and find out where I just was. I just read that one. Where was I? Where was I? I might not be able to find where I was, guys. I hate when the comments jump. I just want to kind of here, let me do this. I'm going to make the comments larger. I am not finding... Uh, man, I was way behind on the comments. S do you think it's worse? Remember Teddy Ruck's pin since he tickled me Elmo was scalped? Shoji, see, yeah, toys have been scalped, like I said, forever. Uh, as long as toys have been in demand and kids have wanted them or adults in this case have wanted them, they've been scalped. So again, you just have to make the best of it and not let it bother you, not let it stress you out, not let it bring you down. We got enough crap to let us to, to be stressed about. And I'm not just talking about stuff that's going on in the world. I'm just talking about working and paying bills. Uh, that's enough stress. So don't let freaking toys and action figures bring you down. Uh, let's see here. LF 90s were the same when it comes to video games. For me, it was all about Jurassic Park and Star Wars for me. LF Universe says, Wayne Stanley, those moms didn't use bots. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Those moms did not use bots. Uh, this was before the internet, so there was no internet to use bots for. But this was when I asked my mom, and my mom wanted to buy me a Transformer so bad for Christmas because that's all I wanted. Uh, it was like 84. And I was like, mom, please, I just want a transformer for Christmas. And she was like, I can't. I, they're literally, there's new, the top news story was, is there was a line outside of Toys R Us before, hours before they opened. Hours. Moms were getting there and camping out, camping out to buy their kids transformers and Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't know if there's any footage of this online, but look it up. It happened. And they would camp out all night to be the first in line. And as soon as that door opened, mad, just ridiculous rush to get Transformers and Cabbage Patch Kids just so that they could either give them to their kids for Christmas or flip them. So they didn't have bots, but my mom was not. That's why I got stuck with freaking GoBots. <laughs> that's why she bought me GoBots. She was like, oh, this is the best I could do. I'm like, oh, I love them, mom. Um, and she bought me a lot of Joes. So that was a, a good result of that. I got the Rattler that Christmas and the, the Mobat. So she, she kicked ass on getting me some really awesome gifts, but there were no transformers under that tree. Uh, NECA releases are the problem. Hi. What's up, girlfriend? Hi. Multiple visits from P dog during this stream. Actually, I mm. do like for you with the tears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, what? I want mommy to be back right now. Well, she is about to leave gymnastics in a minute, and then she's going to get our cheloso for dinner and probably McDonald's for you. No, I want cheloso. Oh, okay. I'll tell her to get cheloso and a water for you. Yeah. Okay. We have 75 downstairs. Excellent. We have 72 downstairs, <laughs> yeah. but we're going to buy one for you. Yeah. <laughs> Speak and spell was a revolutionary achievement to the calculator, Cerrone Games Go says. All people got to do is not buy from scalpers, then boom, they don't have a market. This is absolutely 100% correct, uh, Kiwi Collector. <laughs> if you, collector. Kiwi Collector. Uh, if you don't buy from scalpers, they have no market and they lose interest. 
So that's how we get around scalpers and flippers is you don't, you don't buy from them. Um, sweetie pie. I love you, but can you stop moving my chair? It's making me like seasick. Um, okay. well, you're not on the sea. <laughs> I know, but you're moving it back and forth and it feels like I'm on a cruise ship right now. I feel yeah, like I need to like, pop a dramamine. Then why mm -hmm. do you want to go on a cruise ship? Because uh, I love cruises, princess. Don't you then like it? Why do you make your feel seasick? Because I don't have any uh, seasick medicine right now. Anyway, uh, Dr. DR5000 says, so I'm guessing you saw that hot, uh, that toy galaxy video. Yes, I did see it. Toy oh, my Lord, I woman. <laughs> I haven't showed that yet, but thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> uh, I did see his... did see the video and uh yeah it, it brought me down a little bit it was a it was a little uh little um i don't i don't what's the best way to describe it it brought me down a little bit um anyway let's see here the new joe classified figs seem to be going fast on ebay for 60 to 70 bucks holy crap um hang in there I keep seeing posts on the Nerd Bar, on Syndicate, on Facebook, on Instagram of people finding the Joes in stores. I found the Joes the first wave, the Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Destro, uh, Scarlet. I've seen it like four times in the last two days going to Targets and stuff and Walmarts. They're hitting Targets now, full, full, uh, the full set, the full wave. So patience. Patience, my friends. Uh, let's see here. Those moms started riots. Ionicus toy reviews. You are correct. Those moms fist fights inside Toys R Us's. It was shameful fighting, punching, knocking people over, trampling them for toys. The eighties guys, crazy times. You think 2020 is bad. 2020 is pretty bad, but the 80s was a different time. Uh, I remember people were flipping Furbies and Beanie Babies like crazy. The internet just makes it easier. Exactly. Cincy, did you get the Toka and Razar 2-pack? Er yes. Uh, Jeremy, I did. I uh, So on the last live stream, someone reminded me. I think that was, was that yesterday, Thursday? Someone reminded me and the cutoff was today. And guess who forgot again today? This guy. And thankfully... A couple people reminded me on the nerd bar, hey, did you end up getting the token Razar? I know you said you forgot, and I was like, frick, I forgot. So I, I did go ahead and order them. I, I ordered them. So thank you to everyone that reached out to me, that knows that I'm forgetful, that knows that even though I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it right now, I didn't do it right then, <laughs> and I had forgotten. So thank you to everyone that was able to remind me to get that. I got it. And I did hear, here's some news. I did hear that uh, NECA Online will have the Super Shredder, a limited supply of those on, was it Monday? The 10th. So 8, 9, 10. Monday. I don't remember the time, but I think it's probably on like their social media. But guys, if you want the Super Shredder, good luck. Uh, hopefully we don't have to fight bots. Hopefully we can all get a chance at getting it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If I don't get it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, what do you do for a living? All we do is game. I actually make videos for a living. I do uh, corporate videos. So that's what I do. They're like training videos, promotional videos, commercials, stuff like that. Uh, voiceover work, just like fun stuff like that, but it's corporate stuff. So a lot of times when I do these videos, that's why I love doing these live streams. I don't have to do any editing because editing is where the the most time is spent. Um, I could do a much better, much more involved, much more professional job on my YouTube videos on Cincy Nerd, but I choose not to because I invest so much damn time in that for my profession. I just, I'm lazy and I don't want to do all that for the channel. I could, I try and I put forth, I think a, a decent video, but I could do better. Uh, let's see. Mark 44 prime. What's up, man? Uh, well said, bro. At the end of the day, it's just toys. Exactly. It's just toys. It's, uh, it's just a hobby. It's not the end all and be all. 
um, it makes us happy. It should make us happy. It should not. It should not stress us out. So, again, if it's getting to the point where you're just like, you have anxiety and you're stressed out because of action figures, take a couple steps back and just stop collecting for a little bit or move on to something else that you can find that also makes you happy. Uh, Sarah Ween, thank you. Uh, I like this shirt a lot. This is a very cool shirt. Uh, hopefully it stays in good condition. There's only 250 in the world, but uh, I like it a lot. Yes, sweetie pie. Uh, why is there a delivery man here? Who's here? Oh. oh, okay. It's another dog. All right. The dog's barking. If you can't hear him. Let's see. Ever open your Agent Gomez figures? King Dingling, it says. Um, no, I have not. I'm saving it for a rainy day. I haven't opened my um, Hulkbuster either. I got a Hulkbuster Hot Toys figure. Uh, the deluxe version with the jackhammer. I haven't. Will, come here. Come here. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. Put too many toys on the floor. You can't get to me. Come here. Good boy. All right. He calms down when I call him in here. He just gets really anxious when there's another dog out there. Anyway, guys, sorry I had to do that. Ever open? Oh, uh, no, I haven't done that yet. My Mayfix John Wick came with a dog. It, it did, yes. Doggo. Get Batman Hush Mayfix. I was, um, when I was on the uh, treadmill, I was watching Robo's review of the Hush Batman. And uh, it looks great. It looks really cool. And I think I might get that one. Um, I think I might get that one. I think it looks awesome. Got my Elite Mr. T in the mail today. I'm supposed to get it tomorrow, I think. JJMR322. I think I'm I'm think I'm getting my Mr. T tomorrow. I heard something crazy about that figure though. I heard that uh, as soon as it sold out, people were flipping their pre-order for it for as high as and, and this might be a complete exaggeration and this is based purely on what I read. So it, it has take as much truth from it as as you want. They were scalping their place for the Mr. T figure for $600. I don't believe that. I think that's just lunacy. Um, but that's what I read. I don't think that's true, but that's what I read. I'm resisting the urge to not order Wolvie, Cyclops, and Gambit, Kiwi Collector says. I'm going for all three. Gam uh, Cyclops is already out. Uh, Gambit, I think Gambit comes out next, and then the brown suit Wolverine comes out. I'm not going to get the uh, tiger stripe Wolverine because the claws are completely straight, and I think it looks it doesn't look right. But the brown suit one, the claws are curved, and uh, it looks perfect, I think. Uh, those who drink Michelob. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trevor McGuire just said, those who drink Michelob blow on hot Cheetos before eating them. <laughs> that's such a random statement. That's That's kind of funny. Um, what 20th anniversary X-Men figures are you getting? 20th anniversary. Oh, the movie ones. I'm not sure. I don't know yet. <sighs> Again, I'm, I'm thinking about getting out of legends. So, or at least I, I'm keeping a few legends. I have like the Stan Lee legend. I have the cosmic ghost Rider. I actually have the, I'm keeping the black widow movie figures. Cause I just think that movie's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm keeping a handful of legends, but for the most part, I'm selling off the majority of my Marvel Legends, I'm thinking. And Doctor Doom. So I just read Doctor Doom. The only Marvel Legend that caught my eye was Doctor Doom from the uh, Crawl line. I forgot what line that was, but... Oh, Crawl line. The, the Scroll line. Sorry, Super Scroll line. Um, yeah, I'm keeping Doctor Doom, too. It's just an awesome-looking figure. Do you have Hobgoblin, Cincy? I don't. I don't think I do. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of Spider-Man, I want to order the Carnage too, the Mafex Carnage. I think that looks fantastic. I think that release is actually pretty soon, within a couple months. So I'm going to get the uh, Carnage as well. And I think uh, the Carnage and the Venom and the Spider-Man will make for a pretty nice little display for Spider-Man. I hope they don't do Taskmaster dirty like they did 
the Hulk in Infinity War and Endgame. I think Taskmaster is going to be a badass in the movie. I think he's going to be really great. You all right, man? You, you calm now? All right, good boy. All right. Uh, what about the Sideshow Yellow Suit 1-6th Wolverine? Uh, let me think about that. I don't think I've seen that. The Sideshow Yellow Suit. The only one I've seen is the Brown Suit Wolverine from Sideshow. So, Wayne, I haven't even seen that one. Uh, since you oh, already read that one, all we do is a game. What do you do for a living? I read that one. I had to back away from the pops too. DTN two horror. Mayfex versions are going to look great with the HasLab Sentinel. That's the route I'm going. So Leon is going the Mayfex versions. I like the way you think. I think the Sentinel looks fantastic. Um, I have not pre-ordered it. I'm still thinking about it, which doesn't really make sense if I'm selling all my legends, but. I'm still thinking about it. <clears throat> Ant Anderson. I sold 90% of my Marvel Legends as well because I was trying to complete waves. Only wave I plan on maybe completing is Spider-Man Retro Wave. Picking up Fox, Wolverine, and Cable. And the comments jump as I was in the middle of that damn comment. <laughs> Where was that? Oh, I hate when the comments jump. I'm just going to have to start at a spot. Sorry, guys. These comments just jump when they get to a certain point, and I get far behind. Um, Tom Bowling says, what are your plans for PowerCon tomorrow? Anything you were looking forward to? Uh, not really. I just uh, I wish that PowerCon was actually happening, happening, and I was in California uh, hanging out with, uh, with NARC and uh, Andrew and uh, Eric, and uh, I just wish that I was in – I just I wish I was in California. Uh, let's see here. Did you get NECA TMNT Leatherhead and Slash? I did not. I did see that it released. I saw that it was actually up on the Target site for quite some time, and people had a pretty easy time to get it. I didn't know. I forgot that it was releasing, so I didn't go online. I didn't get it. I didn't go into any stores. I didn't get it. Um, I have the video game Slash and the video game Leatherhead, and I like those. So I don't know if I necessarily need them for my cartoon shelf, um, I do want the April though. I definitely want the April and the foot. And I do want um, the big Krang Android body when they do release that one, whenever that one comes out. The Joes are in Amazon. Uh, Gambit, Rod Gambit Rodriguez says the Joes are in Amazon. Um, Montgomery Designs, are you getting the Marvel Legends SDCC Logan and Charles Xavier figures? I thought about that. I thought about that. But if I was going to go for a Marvel Legends SDCC exclusive, I'd probably get the Hellfire Club because I really like the way that set looks. It's got Emma, of course. Uh, it's got uh, Sebastian Shaw, Donald Pierce, and then um, what's her ass? Uh, is it Madeline Pryor? Uh, the Black Queen? I think it's Madeline Pryor. Or Selena, Celine, whatever her freaking name is. But I, I think... I like that one uh, more than the uh, the Logan two pack. Uh, let's see. I believe Necker released a statement addressing the bot situation. Ray Finity says, "What programs do you use to edit your primary job?" Final Cut Pro X is what I use as my primary editing uh, software. Uh, I do a lot of After Effects stuff as well, um, but Final Cut Pro X is what I use. The Target T NECA TM and, and and can I just say that if you decide to go the route of doing video production as your job, your profession, if you you know get on with a company and and do that, uh, or if you do it um, as like a you know what am I trying to say? If you do it as like a sole proprietorship, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm brain farting. Uh, invest in multiple monitors. I have a big this is like a 30 something inch monitor here, a big monitor. I think it's 27 or 30 inches, but multiple monitors is very, very helpful when you have the uh, final cut up and you're doing stuff with After Effects and you're doing stuff with files and all kinds of crap. Multiple monitors, if you can. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the, the target NECA at TMT. Where it's easy to get up for 10 
up for sale for 10 minutes or so. Mr. All Mine said that uh, Leatherhead and Slash were up for 10 minutes or so. Um, Jedi Ian, I'm getting the 90s movie TMNT. Can, so can I just say that maybe, you know, as we, we thought that NECA had no way of trying to administer something with Target to address bots, but it kind of sounds like they did. Um, if that was up for 10 minutes or so on the Target site, I don't know if NECA pulled some kind of strings with Target to get rid of the bots or to prevent bots from buying up all the stock, but it kind of looks like they did. If that thing was up for 10 minutes, I mean, all kudos to NECA if they were able to, uh, to get that to happen. Uh, let's see here. You should do a podcast, NC. I thought about that. I thought about doing a podcast, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm too lazy. <laughs> I don't have enough time. That's the thing is this is like the only time that I have to do this because um, when Mrs. Cincy gets home with the girls, we, we eat dinner together. We spend time together and then I hang out with Mrs. Cincy and then we go to bed. So I'm either doing this and I'm doing my, my job job all day long. So I only really have time to do like the hobby videos and live streams and stuff when they're gone or like during my lunch. That's why I do the lunchtime hunts and stuff. So I'd love to do a podcast. I could probably talk my ass off for hours on end about various topics. I thought about doing a wrestling podcast just to talk about wrestling. I thought about doing one for hockey. Um, I'm into so many different things, comic books, collectibles, hockey, football. I started watching baseball. I'm getting into that. Uh, wrestling, obviously. I used to watch the UFC religiously. I could pick winners of fights um, with a high degree of uh, like probability, I guess. I could probably do various podcasts. I just, I don't have time. If I could be like Michael Keaton in Multiplicity and clone myself <laughs> so I could get family time in, hobby time in, all the stuff that I want to do, I could get it all done. I would do that. I love that that movie. That's one of my favorite movies. I'm a huge Michael Keaton fan, by the way. Um, I, I don't think that I have not liked a Michael Keaton movie. Every movie he's done, I've been a huge fan of, of uh, the movie. So Multiplicity, Gung Ho, obviously Batman, Batman Returns, Jackie Brown, any movie Michael Keaton's in, Birdman, I absolutely freaking love. I think he's awesome. One of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, let's see here. Knight of Ren says, I can't stand NECA. Great product, not a big fan of the company. Uh, let's see here. Do you collect Mafex? Are you going to pick up the new Batman and Superman? Christian Christian Cosgrove. Yeah, I am I am uh, quite interested in the Batman. I watched a couple of reviews. And uh, I'm going to get the X-Men Mafex figures. I'm going to get the Spider-Man Mafex figures. I think that might be like my thing. My new thing is Mafex because I really like their products. So I might, I might like not collect as many Marvel legends and start getting into Mafex. Again, this could all change as a collector. I, I change my opinions on things and what I'm going to do and what I'm going to collect like that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know yet. I, I'm heavily, heavily leaning towards Mayfax. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Shoji C, it makes me happy because I'm stressed with the world right now. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be stressed about. Just general life and what's going on with the world right now. And don't watch the news. That's very depressing. But uh, yeah, these things, these figures, comic books... They, uh, they make me happy. They, they bring me to a happy place. So if they are stressing me out to the point where I'm like triggered, then I need to find a new hobby. Cincy bro, you're getting the NECA super shredder. KB the Twiner, that's the plan. Yeah. I, I definitely want to get the NECA super shredder. I think Monday, I, I forgot what time it was. Was it like noon or something or 1 PM Eastern time? Uh, someone shouted out in the chat so people that are trying to get that figure can find it. But uh, I'm hoping that it's uh, they've solved the bot problem and 
we can all get that thing. It's a limit of one, which is very, very nice. Thank you, Neck, for doing that. Uh, but I'm, I'm definitely going to go for that figure. I think it looks awesome. Cincy, bro, are you getting the... Oh, I just read that. Uh, Miss Pearl of the South, were you able to pre-order the Spawn signed figure from Walmart today? Completely forgot about it. I completely forgot about it. Did anyone get that? Um, hopefully the bots didn't scoop all those up, but no, I didn't get that. The uh, the good thing, though, is the fact that I did back the Kickstarter for Spawn, and I got the classic Spawn, and I got the autographed classic Spawn. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I think they're going to do a great job with the production of that and the way that it presents. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm getting the Masters of the WWE Mr. T, Gilster says. Uh, Amateur Toy Hunter, stupid Walmart site has the double dealer for 30. Wouldn't let me check out. And then when I took it out of the cart, it raised price to 50. Yeah. So what happens with Walmart? And I wish they didn't do this. So what I usually do when I'm searching, I usually like search for like my WWE elite figures at Walmart. And on the left hand side, there's like different things that you could select. Um, you can select only results from Walmart.com because they actually re they act as like a hub, I guess, for third party companies. So the double dealer sold out and that one for 50 bucks, that wasn't Walmart selling that. That was probably another company, a third party company that immediately probably bought the thing and then flipped it back to Walmart. <laughs> they bought it and then flipped it back to Walmart and they're selling it as a third party for 50. So that's probably what happened, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that Walmart would... If that happened, that Walmart would allow that to happen, but that's probably what happened. Uh, saw the Leaning Tower of Siege. W uh, War for Cybertron figures in the thumbnail, so I assume you finished the show. Uh, yeah, I, I went through. I did finish the show. Yeah, the Netflix show. I, I absolutely loved it. I will watch it a third time. I can't wait for Earthrise. I'm interested to see what they do with Kingdom. Is it called Ki Kingdom or Beast Kingdom? I think it's just called Kingdom. But it's going to deal with, like, I think the the Beast Wars, right? Dinobots, Beast Wars, stuff like that. Shoji Seeds, yeah, too many legends keep coming out. It's getting too expensive, but Retro Spidey is great. I saw Retro Spidey. When I found the uh, AEW figures at that Walmart, I had Retro Spidey in my hand because I had been looking for him. And I had the uh, the Maverick from the Deadpool wave in my hand. And uh, and then I found the AEW figures and I ended up putting those back. But um, when I looked at the Spider-Man, I did think it, it looks like probably one of the best Spider-Mans that they've done. But I still like my Mafex more. I have the cel-shaded Mafex. I want to show this to you because I keep referring to it. Um, I freaking love that figure. I absolutely love that figure. Uh, I think I'm going to sell all my X-Men Legends too, Ryan A. says. Doctor Doom is my only Marvel Legends so far, Gilster says. Are you selling off your Mar Marvel Legends X-Men, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber? Yeah, I have 44 X-Men Marvel Legends, and I'm trying to sell them as a lot. I have a few people that are interested. I still have not gotten back to them on a price. So if you're one of the people that asked me, hey, I'm interested in that lot, what's the price? I, I will get back to you. I promise. I'm I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out the the best price, like the the most reasonable price. Obviously, I'm not gonna freaking sell it for what you can get it for on eBay. I'm gonna sell for less than that because what's the point of buying a lot of 44 figures if you can just get it on eBay? So I'm gonna try and make it worth the buyer's time and effort and money. Um, but it's yeah, it's 44 figures. There's some build a figures in there. It's it's all X Men and. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to regret the decision. I know a lot of you are thinking that I'm going to re regret the decision by selling my Marvel Legends. I have sold my Marvel Legends collection before in the past. I've been collecting Marvel Legends for a long, long, long time since Toy Biz. And I have collected, had collections, sold the collections off, got back into it at least two or three times. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm 98% sure I'm going to sell the entire X-Men Marvel Legends lot. 44 figures. Which of the McFarlane Multiverse pre-orders are you looking forward to the most? 
man, Tom Bowling. That's a good question because there's a lot of them. I am looking forward to the uh, the evil Batman, the Dark Knight's Batman, because uh, I loved that comic. Um, so yeah, probably those, like all of those guys. Uh, as far as the like most recent pre-orders, I'm probably looking forward to the Red Death Flash because it has Red Death, and I'm looking forward to the, the Dark Knight's Batman. So probably that one. Maybe the one with the Rob the Robins. Because I heard that the Robins, it's only going to come with one face sculpt, and you have to search for the other face sculpts to get all the different looks for those Dark Knights metal Robins. So I don't know. I just love what McFarlane's doing right now. I, I, I think he's uh, he's doing a great job on, on that line. I had my worries. I had my worries at first, but I like it. I know a lot of people don't like that line because it's 7-inch, and people like that collect 6-inch don't like the mix scales. Um, but I just like the line. I like the line a lot. Uh, oh, comments jumped. Holy frick. All right, I'm going to start close to the bottom if you posted a question or a comment and I did not see it because these comments have jumped so frequently, please post it again. I don't want to skip anyone's question or comment, so please post it again and I'll get to it. Um, do you think they'll slow down the Marvel Legends X-Men future figure releases after this year? No. <laughs> I think they're going to continue on. And that's one of the reasons why I'm selling off my collection because there's so many different looks for the X-Men. The modern comics, the classic 80s comics... They could do so many different freaking figures for X Men, and it's just going to continue and continue and continue. And it's just got, it's like a, I, I'm going to use a negative analogy, but they're not negative because I love the figures. I love the way they look. And that doesn't make sense if I'm trying to sell them, but I'm just telling you, I love the way they look. But it's kind of like a virus that spreads uh, with the X Men <laughs> Marvel Legends figures because they keep just expanding and expanding and expanding. And then eventually they're going to take up like four Detolfs. They're all going to be X-Men Marvel Legends and they all look great and I want to keep them all, but there's just so many of them. So not a negative analogy, but there's just so freaking many of them and they're going to keep making them because people keep buying them and it's it's money. People love them. Uh, can we see an up close of your Transformers Siege and Earthrise display? I will do that. I, I can't do it right now because I'm on a fixed camera right now with this webcam right here. But what I'll do is after I unbox, I'm going to unbox some of these while I'm watching TV with Mrs. Cincy tonight. I'm sure she'll love that. I'm going to unbox some of these Transformers. I'm going to pose them up in the cabinet. And then in a video, an edited video, I will show you that display. I'm going to have to cut this short here soon, though, because they're going to be here soon with dinner. So if I have to go suddenly, that's the reason why. And of course, we're at 200 people or almost 200 people. So I apologize if I do have to cut this short soon, but I'm going to stay in here until I hear that doorbell chime or the freaking ring. Uh, where was I? What's up, uh, RMD Collective? What's up, Cincy? I'm still searching for the KC and RAF 2 packs. Still can't find them. Um, a couple of people have hit me up. They're looking for those as well. Um, I will add you to the list. I'm when, it, if, if someone asks me to try and find something they can't find it at all, uh, and I can help out in any way, I will try and find it. My try and find it and help you out. That's people help me out. Um, so I like to return the favor. I don't like to just be the person that keeps getting helped out. I want to help other people out too. So, uh, there's a couple people that I'm looking for that for. Um, but hit me up. I'll, I'll if I find one, I'll, I'll, I let everyone know that I found it and I'll, I'll try and pick it up for you. Um, when I found those two at the Walmart, no one had said, Hey, if you find it, let me know. So, but I would have picked them up for people that were looking for it. Um, neck of, and can I just say that sometimes I feel bad doing that because then I'm picking up a figure that a local collector can't get. So it's, it's a double sided sword. Um, you, you can't win, you can't lose. I mean, or you can't, well, I don't know what the expression is. <laughs> but if if someone says, hey, Cincy, if you find the Casey Raf 2 pack, can you pick it up for me? And I say, absolutely, you've helped me out before, I'll look for it. And then I pick it up for them, then that's one less for a local person to find. And then I feel bad that the local person couldn't find it. So it's like a no-win situation, honestly. Um, but anyway... 
I don't know what I'm trying to say there. It's like, no matter what I do, someone's going to be pissed off. So, I don't know. NECA seems to want to stop figure exclusive deals and just release their figures to all retail outlets from what I heard. Ray Finity says. Wally says no bot protection today with Walmart. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So Wally tried to get the uh, autographed Todd McFarlane spawn, got cart jacked during checkout. I'm sure they're probably already on eBay and they're probably already fetching just a stupid amount of money. And that sucks. I, I feel bad. And um, I wish Walmart would have uh, maybe done something or McFarlane would not have sold those through Walmart. Sell it through your own website. NECA should have stopped doing NECA should stop doing exclusives. Too many flippers. Beast Slayer 14 says that. <clears throat> In NECA's defense, it does sound like they're making some serious efforts to try and not sell to bots. Uh, the fact, the simple fact that even though I missed it, the leatherhead and slash was up on target side for 10 minutes. The simple the simple fact that Token and Razar, they had it up for a week, a week for people to buy. When they didn't have to do that, um, they're going to put the super shredder up, I guess, in a limited quantity on Monday, and and hopefully it's protected from bots. It, they're they're trying to appeal to the collectors. At least that's my perception. That's my perception. NECA is making an effort. Other companies might not be making an effort, but it sounds like NECA is making an effort. So I'm not trying to defend them. I'm not in Randy's pocket or anything like that. That it's just my perception is that that's what it looks like to me. I just got a super chat here. Let's see what that is. Gilster, thanks, Gilster, uh, with the five dollar super chat. I appreciate it. Why don't Marvel Legends come with comic books? Makes no sense. Read, uh, read books, kids. They used to come with comic books. The Toy Biz ones came with comic books, and and that was awesome. Some of those comic books are actually worth some money. Some of those reprint comic books that came with Marvel Legends figures actually command money on the secondary. But um, yeah, that would be cool as an add-on. I think that, um, I don't know. It'd be nice to have those again. Maybe maybe if they did them as like exclusives where they included the comic books, that, that would be very, very cool. But very good question. Very good statement. Um, I agree with that, Gilster. All right, uh, where was I? Him returning as Batman has me excited. Ray Finity. So you're talking about Keaton? Me too. I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very excited that we might get new Hot Toys figures of Keaton Batman costume, not only from whatever he plans to do in the Flash movie and like the, the old man Keaton, but we might get reissues. And I know there's the... R word that a lot of people don't like that a lot of collectors don't like, but reissues of the 89 Batman Keaton. I would love it if they did that. I, I bought the uh, Mezco. I'm really looking forward to that. But if they can do a reissue of the 89 or 91 Batman returns Keaton, I'm all freaking for that. That would be awesome. What about the Hasbro ultimate rider punisher? Oh, the one on the bike. That looks like a pretty cool sculpt. I think that looks good. I don't know if I'm going to get that, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that, but it does look good. I'm waiting on the Mafex Beskar Mando. That looks really, really good. Ryan A. Uh, I think that would be a... Uh, I think that's going to be an awesome figure. I, haven't, I don't know if it's released yet. I don't know if it's had any reviews. Something tells me that I... That Robo might have done a review on a Mafex Mando, but I can't remember at this point. I'm waiting on the Black Series Best Garment. That's the one I'm waiting for. I pre-ordered that one, Knight of Ren 789. I pre-ordered the uh, Best Gar Steel Mando, the Clone Trooper with the gray on him, the new Stormtrooper, the freaking uh, Mandalore. No, the uh, Death Watch. I pre-ordered all the freaking Black Series figures. I can't remember all the ones that are coming out, <laughs> but I pre-ordered those. I'm looking forward to those. Uh, it's 1 p.m. Eastern time. So you might, Ryan A., I think you're referring to the Super Shredder time on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Nooner, my time on Monday. So uh, crossing the old fingers that uh, Randy's doing something to protect us from the bots. 
protect us from those bots so we can get that super shredder. I really want that one. I think it looks great. Uh, let's see here. Well, it's sold out in like less than one minute. Miss Pearl of the South. Are you talking about the McFarlane autographed McFarlane? Less than one minute. Uh, Knight of Ren 789. So you can only purchase one Super Shredder, but you can purchase two per household token Razar. So I don't get that. They limit a single figure, but you can purchase up to two packs. Oh, NECA. Uh, I think the token Razar are made to order. So whatever amount people order, they're producing those. So um, that might be the reason that they can that they're doing two on those. Have you found Scorponok and Skylinks at Target? <clears throat> Where the frick did he go? So, who asked that? Tommy Boy 707. Bam. <clears throat> I suggest watching the replay of this video because uh, the first part of this video, I went through a toy haul and um, I went through all my Siege Transformers that I picked up. I got one Studio Series, a couple Earthrise, a bunch of Siege. But um, take a look at the replay and uh, you'll see which ones I got. But I'm really excited for the Skylinks. That's the one I'm most excited for. It just looks big and freaking well-made. I'm really excited for ratchets, a lot of ratchet, and then the neck, neck ratchets. I'm really excited for it. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Where was I? Comments jumped again. Uh, <laughs> Tony Tangney. Let me see show this one because it hit it for some reason tony says i want to punch walmart in the nips <laughs> tony must have been going for the uh the signed spawn figure and uh got beat by the boss so uh, i i'm sorry you didn't get that one man but um yeah i think a lot of people want to punch walmart in the nips right now <laughs> amateur toy hunter says uh randy is going to lecture you to protect you from the bots uh, Gilster says John Williams Black Series make it happen Hasbro that would be cool I want a uh, George Lucas a George Lucas Black Series figure come on it doesn't get any easier than that and then do it do an Abrams I'm sure some people would want an Abrams I like JJ Abrams I'd buy a JJ Abrams figure I like directors of movies um, but a George friggin Lucas I mean we have a Stan Lee we have a Stan Lee do a George they already did a George Lucas in three and three quarter inch and like freaking saga collection in like the early 2000s. Stormtrooper armor. There's my food. The missus is here. Groceries are here. I got to help her on. Okay, I'll be right there, sweetie. 181 people here. I apologize, guys, but my dinner's here. Choloso's getting cold right now. Thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, please uh, do a thumbs up on the video. I'll see you guys again soon. I might live stream again sometime this weekend, but uh, I'm definitely going to be filming some videos. I got some hot toys to show you guys, but thank you so much for being here. Hope you guys had fun. Have a great weekend. Hope you had a great week. Have fun collecting. Have fun collecting, and I'll see you guys soon. Um, and if I didn't get to your question, please leave it in the comments. I'm going to try and answer any questions I didn't answer in the comments. So. Thanks again, guys, and audio.